do excuse the state of me, this is just a quick pre-introduction. I'm so out of breath because I've just climbed the stairs, what's new? This isn't the video, don't worry, this is not how this video is going to look. Um, I will be joining you in Cannes in the next part of the video. However, stupidly, when I started this video, it was before the maybe announcement had gone up and I didn't realise that when this video would be going out, maybe was going to be live until like the middle of the video. So we do talk about maybe in this video, but I feel like it's just, it's weird to come on my channel and then just not mention it straight away because I have been so overwhelmed and blown away by the support that you guys have shown. Our pop-up tickets went on sale yesterday and they sold out in literally two minutes. Like we sold out the pop-up. I think it was like under three minutes. Like basically the minute the tickets went live, they sold out. And I am just so blown away by the support that you guys have shown maybe. And like I said, I do go on to talk about it in this video, but when I was filming this video, it was still a secret. No one knew about it. When I say secret, it wasn't really a secret because um, like I said on TikTok the other day, managed to keep it a secret for nearly three years. And then in the last week, it all came out. But I really, really don't mind. Like I'm just so happy with the response and I'm just so excited and I just can't believe that I can finally talk about it and three years of working on this project has finally it's all here and it just feels so good and so special and I just feel like this next chapter of my life and this chapter like with maybe is I honestly just feel like it's going to be the best yet this wouldn't be possible without you all so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I just hope that on the 29th when we actually go live you just love the product as much as I have loved creating it and designing it and creating this whole vision and yeah I'm just so 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 excited anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will speak to you all very soon welcome to Cannes everybody I made it I'm here bet you all thought I wouldn't follow through with it didn't you but did and I'm here in Cannes for the wedding um, if you watched my last vlog you will know that I mentioned that for the plot I decided to take my friend up on an invite as a plus one to a really gorgeous wedding looks like I was about to make a neckerchief out of that I'm just gonna pop a little headband on because I don't want to get my pet one of my pet pieces when I get makeup in my hairline and when you're a blondie can I come get through the whole video looking like this don't really care to be honest with you but when you're a blondie and you get makeup in your hairline it's not it's, there's nothing worse also we're gonna have to pick up the speed a little bit welcome to today's video it's gonna be a get ready with me um i've had the entire day to get ready but randomly i actually ended up seeing maura <laughs> basically i saw her instagram story um that she was somewhere that looked kind of similar to where I was, I was like, I'm sure she, that looks like Can from what I could see from her story, so I messaged her, I was like, are you in Can by any chance? Um, and she was literally five minutes down the road from me, so I ended up just swinging via where she was, and we obviously ended up getting carried away and chatting for ages, um, we had so much to catch up over, so that was so nice to see her, I've not seen her in so long. I've been walking around Cannes all morning by myself, I got myself an ice cream, I just wandered around, had a look in some shops, went and met Maura, picked myself up a nice big cold bottle of water, it's the little things, um, like that brings me a lot of joy. Cold bottles of water with like the steam on the outside, I, it, that always brings me a lot of joy. Um, but yeah, last night was great. I'm going to have to talk and do my makeup at the same time, but I've just popped on Clarins Double Serum there and the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream just to moisturise my skin. This monstrosity here, I'm going to insert a video here. If you don't like spots and you're a bit squeamish, look away now. But I'm going to insert a video here of what this looked like yesterday. Um, screaming, crying, throwing up. I wanted to put that sound over this video where it was like, they ask you if you're okay and you, you say you're okay, but you're not okay. Because that was literally me yesterday. I'm going to start off with the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. I'm going to try and do a Holly Flynn today. I'm gonna to do my absolute best. Holly actually did my makeup before I flew yesterday um, because when we got off the plane, we came straight to the hotel and went straight to the white party, which was like the first part of the wedding celebrations. Um, and Holly did my makeup for me before I got on the plane and it lasted me so well. I also picked up this brush the other day from Real Techniques, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, but I think it's malfunctioned. It's called the bubble brush. Um, 
and I picked it up because I saw the name, I was like, oh, the bubble brush, that sounds really good, and I've always loved really dense makeup brushes, I don't know why, like, they just bring me, like, again, a lot of joy, when, like, the brushes and bristles are really dense, um, and it was called the bubble brush, and I didn't know when I first got it if it was making that noise, because it's, like, the bubble brush, so, like, it... I don't know, like it's, I, I don't really know, but Real Techniques, is my brush malfunctioned or is it meant to make this noise? Because I'm not really sure about that one. And I like it anyway, the brush is lovely. <laughs> I just don't know if it's meant to be a musical instrument whilst I use it. I think it's meant to make that noise. Now I'm gonna use the Kylie Cosmetics, the new Kylie Cosmetics Skin Tint. I'm using it in shade 4.5 WN. And I think I'm gonna mix it with my absolute favorite foundation this is the house labs foundation i use shade 230 light medium cool this is the same bottle that i've been using since i went to new york and was raving about this product in new york which was this is potentially out of date actually but thinking about it because um the, i've had this bottle for probably about a year now <sighs> oh a year how hang on a minute how is this my favorite foundation i use it probably every other day and i've had the same bottle for a year it is a very large bottle to be fair and I only use like a pump of it really at a time because it is, you don't need a lot of it but oh god I just love this foundation so much, it's kind of reminds me a little bit of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I was so surprised at how many of you the other day after my video said that you really liked my makeup and you wanted like an updated makeup routine, I was like guys like are you taking the makeup of me because we all know over here that makeup is not my forte. Um, Oh, look at that. It's really nice, this skin tint. I've been getting so many messages since I spoke about it in a recent vlog um, about the fortune teller <laughs> appointment that I had. I don't know if I called her a fortune teller. I think I said I was going to see a psychic. Um, so I went to Blackpool with Erin to go and see... I spoke about it in a vlog recently. I went to go and see, like, a... I don't know what her name is. She's not a medium. She wasn't, like, contacting people that have gone. She was kind of, like, I'd say, yeah, like a psychic. She was kind of a psychic. It was to do with cards. It wasn't tarot cards, because I specifically said to her, Are these tarot cards, and she said, no, they're not tarot cards. But it was, I don't know what she was using, but basically I've, I've never, ever done anything like that before. I don't really massively believe in it, or I do find it maybe, like, a little bit scary. A few people that I know had gone to this specific woman all the way up in Blackpool, and they honestly all said like she is literally incredible like she gets everything right and she just knows things that like only you you know yourself and it's just bizarre so I thought you know what like I'm going to go it was in her house so like I went into her house and she definitely didn't have like she I feel like a lot of you, you will be like oh you know maybe she followed you on social media or like maybe she knew she didn't like she definitely didn't know um anything about me or my life or anything at all like she had no idea um and I bet my entire life on that I sat down and, and I, I don't I can't even really like say what she said because it's something that I haven't spoken about on here but the first thing the woman said to me was about um something that was going on in my life nothing to do with like what's been going on the last couple of weeks with my relationship but it was something else that was going on in my life and the first thing the woman said to me which nobody else really knew about she was like so you're going through this at the minute aren't you and I was like oh my god like this is not I was so taken aback because I really was skeptical but the second I sat down and we'd like spoke for two seconds and she was like so this is happening at the minute isn't it and spot on like the woman was spot on she was spot on about pretty much everything she knew that i was a mum she knew that bambi had like the smallest things that was just so interesting she was like so your daughter like she has um her name something's coming to me about her name it's it's individual like it's unusual her name is just something and i was like yeah her name's bambi like obviously that's a really unusual name she she would say things like so i'm i'm getting a kevin and i'm getting i'm getting a kevin and i'm getting a michelle and taylor my best friend's parents are called her dad's called kevin and her mum's called michelle so like just weird things like that where i was just like i mean it it could be a coincidence but also i just think like strange I've got a pauline who's really close to you which is true i have a pauline in my life who's like i'm super close to and i don't know it was just very very interesting she just got so much right the experience for the people that were asking was interesting and pretty accurate so i'm glad i actually made the trip and i'm glad i did it i've just realized something which has just made me feel really incredibly stupid i've just realized because as of right now no one knows about maybe oh that's the first time i've said that on camera 
on this is the first time me saying maybe on my vlog that's not the truth i've obviously said maybe on my vlog a million times but maybe in the context that i mean it i didn't realize when i started this get ready with me that when i post this video i will have posted my announcement about maybe oh my gosh i think we just need to take a moment of just like actual Right now, I'm just getting ready for a wedding. I can't start speaking about maybe because I just, it's too vast of a subject and it's too much to talk about for me just to do it whilst I'm getting ready for this wedding. But yeah, as you guys will have seen now, I have posted my announcement for maybe, um, which, oh God, three years in the making and managed to keep it a secret for three years and then in the last two weeks, it all came out do i really care no because do you know what i actually really enjoyed seeing so many videos about just people figuring it out and i actually thought you know what like i can't even get annoyed because you're all so smart like like i could never like i i'm sorry like you you're all too smart for your own good so excited like you guys don't understand how much no you do because i've been going on about it for ages but the time the energy the money the stress, the effort, the happiness, like this project has been my life for, we started it three years ago, but for the last two years, it's been go, go, go. And for the last six months, it's been consuming, but in the best way. The 29th is the date that we actually go live online with drop one. Um, I, as of right now, cause I don't know when I'm gonna be able to post this, get ready with me. I don't know what we have posted and what we haven't posted so I'm not going to say too much I'm just using the refi cream bronzer in tan I normally like to use it in the shade above this but I ran out of it and ordered the wrong one so that's okay though because I love this product um but yeah maybe I can't I will never like not be able to just be with pride and, and happiness when I talk about it I just hope that from what you've seen already, you guys are loving it. And like, cause I don't know what I've posted, so I don't want to say too much, but yeah. I will say that a hell of a lot more goes into something like this than I had ever, ever anticipated. Like I said the other day, I've had one person, one incredible person helping me do some of the parts of it that I simply just didn't know how to do, like CAD drawings. And best believe I did try. <laughs> I got an iPad and I downloaded Illustrator, well, I think it was Illustrator or I downloaded, I was trying to do drawings, right? And oh my God, I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna have to try and find them and post them because it was comedy gold. Like I had no idea what I'm doing. And also that looks, I'm not sure I like that shade. I just wanted to share it with you all so much because that's the whole point of it. It's for you guys. Like I want to do this for you guys to enjoy it and for you guys to be able to shop it and enjoy it and love it. Hopefully, like I say, just as much as I do. So yeah, I bought these really cute little, <laughs> how cute is that? These little mini powder puffs from Real Techniques the other day. Um, which I'm absolutely loving. They're just so perfect to get right under your eye with the powder and like I don't know, And they're also just great to put in your bag if you've just like a bit of got a bit of a shine just to like bl blot it out um, So I'm just gonna get my powder. I've got a little mini. How cute is this? A little mini Translucent setter powder from Laura Mercier. It's absolutely tiny. I love that for traveling. This is so good. I'm just going to press that oh, I love it so much. Look how smooth that's made that it's such a good product I'm still slightly undecided on my outfit for today, which is not like me. I normally, with something like this, will always know exactly what I'm wearing and will have pa packed the exact things I need for that one specific outfit. Um, I don't really pack spares, but after trying on those Kai dresses in my last vlog, I was really thrown off. Um, so I've got my yellow dress, which is a House of CB dress, which I will try on for you and show you guys. Um, I think that's the one I'm going to go for because I really, really do like it. But when I showed it to a couple of people yesterday, last night at the white party, they were like, oh, it's quite, um, not in your face, but they were like, oh yeah, like that's gorgeous. But I don't, that's not what I'm going for. I don't, like I said to you, I don't want to be, I want to be heard and not seen. I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera because as you know, the eyebrows are a bit of a sore subject. I'm pretty happy with them actually. This one definitely is thicker than this one. Um... And also my favourite brow gel, which I've been really enjoying using recently, which is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. This is a new one. I used to always use this one from them. This is just their brow gel. This is their brow freeze. And 
I mean, this is the same as so many brow gels. You have to wipe off a lot of the excess from this brush because if you put too much in your brows of this product, the white crust will appear and it happened in my last vlog because at the start, if you look closely, well, the brows are white with crust, um, pure white crust, which is just brilliant. You do have to be careful when using this product that you just, I just honestly wipe the whole thing off my dressing gown and then just put like the most tiniest bit and it will still hold your brows in place. It's such a good product. I really do like this, but you have to use it sparingly. I'm just gonna use Hoola Bronzer from Benefit same brush I've been using since I was about 12 and I'm just going to literally just pop a little bit of that through my eye socket. I also like to run the Hoola bronzer um, I kind of like sort of take it all the way through this part and then all the way down my nose just to hollow out this part slightly and just kind of like connect my nose to my eyes and just make it a little bit more seamless hell am I talking about? So sickeningly, I post the maybe announcement tomorrow at five o'clock UK time and I'm flying home from here at eight o'clock can time, which is seven o'clock. So I'm only going to have two hours of seeing the response. To be fair, two hours is okay. Like I think if I was getting, getting on the plane, to be fair, it was the only thing that was my deciding decision in whether to come to Cannes or not, because when I got offered the chance to come to Cannes for this wedding, I was like 100%, but then when I realised that we were flying on the, the Sunday that the maybe announcement was going live, I was like, mm, that massively impacts my decision because, like I say, I've not waited years for this announcement to go live to then not be able to like enjoy watching your guys' reaction to it and just like, watching it all go down and seeing what you all think of just even like the name, the logo, everything that we've worked so hard on. Um, so I really didn't know, like that was a massive like deciding decision for me, but because I thought, you know, two hours, that is fine. And then the flight is only about two hours long. So two hours of seeing what's going on, two hours of no signal whatsoever, which is going to kill me. Um, but then when I land, obviously I'll see what you guys think and everything. Well, I'm just so excited. I can't believe the time has come. Zoe keeps texting me saying like, I can't believe it. Like she's so, so, so proud. And she's like just as excited as I am because I feel like she knows what well, everyone knows. Everyone in my life knows how important this is for me and how much work I've put into this and just how much it means to me. For bronzer there, I didn't mention what I was using, I just used the Radiant Bronze Light. I've used this bronzer for absolutely years. I really, really love it. I do love Hourglass so much. Oh, someone's calling me. Hello. Hi, very good afternoon. My name is Akhil. I'm calling from American Express, the fraud prevention team. Am I speaking with Miss Molly May Hayes? Yes, you are. Oh, that's wonderful. Is it a good time to speak with you? Uh, yes. Someone's definitely trying to fraud my American Express card because I've been getting that call now <laughs> for ages, but I'm still so scared because when they start asking me, like, can I have the answer to your security questions? I'm like, but I don't know that you're American Express. Like, how are you meant to actually know? But then I do Google the number and it does say that it's American Express, so I probably should have just answered the security questions, but I'm just not trusting, like, because if I say, oh, this is my street name, this was my dog's old name, this is my favourite meal, and they are questions that they need to get access to my card or something, or am I being thick? I don't know. For blush, I'm just using the Dior blush in shade 001 Pink. It's like the bluey undertoned one. It's really, really nice. I'm just going to do another spray of the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Because we need this makeup to last all night. Oh, that spot's come through again. I think I might just dab like a tiny, tiny little bit of concealer on it just to cover it again. Um, mascara. Do I want to do mascara? Maybe like a, just a tiny little bit. I'll just do my lips quickly whilst I decide if I want to wear mascara or not. Um, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Lip Liner in Hazelnut. This shade is really, really nice. It's a little bit brown for me. And I'm also going to try and overline my lips a little bit because I feel like one way that Holly makes my makeup look fuller and dressier is with the lips. She has this like signature lip that she does on me where she kind of like really overlines my lips but doesn't make it look that way. So I kind of want to emulate that. But if I try and do that, it's just not going to go that way. As you can see, it's a lot more brown than I'd usually go for. I like my pinky tones, but Holly always says to me that a browner, a more brown toned liner makes your makeup look just a little bit fuller and a bit more dressier. 
which is what we're going for. Lipstick wise, I'm going to pop a little bit of, I know this is, I know it's pillow talk, I don't even need to see it. Pillow talk from Charlotte Tilbury in the middle. I really like this lip combination. I feel like it's still me, but a little bit more, a little bit out of my comfort zone. I actually was going to wear mascara, but apparently now I'm not because it turns out I didn't bring one with me. <laughs> so I've literally not got one in here. I've just been rummaging through and I've not even packed a stupid mascara. It's because I had a huge sort out of my makeup kit a few days ago and I had about 20 of the same mascara and apparently instead of taking one of those 20, I've taken them all out instead. Okay, I think that's pretty much my makeup done. I just popped a tiny bit of MAC brown <coughs> pencil in my waterline just to make the... I feel like it makes my eyes look a bit more brown, a bit more pop out a little bit. Hair. Where do I begin? So I feel like my hair needs to be up because my dress is very fussy and there's quite a lot going on with it and to be honest with you I always feel most confident with my hair up because I just don't need to worry about it I can relax and I just yeah when my hair's down I'm faffing with it and also I can't wear it down because it's incredibly greasy I plan to wear it up um so I'm just gonna go grab my hair bits and then I'm literally just gonna put it in like a really simple bun just neat out of the way very demure very classy very mindful bear with me for my hair I feel like whenever I've done get ready with me's in the past I don't ever include the part of me doing my hair because I do it I do actually really enjoy doing my hair and it's something that I feel like I'm not too bad at but I don't know where this is going to go so I'm thinking maybe like a middle part bun however I do have my bonds in at the minute obviously as you can tell this isn't my hair obviously I always use shade Molly May from Beauty Works in my extensions but I wanted to be a smidge blonder this time so we also put in a few shade ice blonde which is the old shade I used to wear which is literally like white um, and I'm really enjoying it but the only thing is is that it's not great with hair ups because you can see the icy white bonds uh, poking through they don't blend as well but that's okay it's nothing that this hair master can't figure out I'm thinking what I might do because as you're seeing right now this is turning into my literal everyday slick back bun which by the way I saw a TikTok of the other day saying some girls need to be told that the slick back bun does not look good on them and in the comments, the comments were all saying um, someone needs to tell Molly May about this. And the, the comment got like 2,000 likes. And I was like, that's me never doing my favourite hairstyle ever again then. Because I, I really like this hairstyle. That looks like an elongated sideburn. That, that does not look good. How do, how do we make that look cute? I always see people doing that. That looks like an elongated literal sideburn. Um, hang on. cute do I look like something from Star Wars I think so now I'm not too worried if you can see a few of my bonds like these are the ones in shade ice blonde that I was talking about that are very prominent when you tie your hair up you can see them all here I have a pintail comb and I'm hoping that once I put my hair up I can get the pintail comb and just sort of hide them with my non-extension hair um so Let's just see how this goes. Also, if I don't like my princess layer sticky down bits, I can just always grip them up. So I'm not too worried about that. Guys, why can't I work out if that looks nice or not? It doesn't look nice, does it? I look really strange. No, I can't have them. But then if I do that, then it's literally my everyday hairstyle. Oh, God, what am I meant to do? I look like Jabba the Hutt. Is that who I look like? I've never seen Star Wars in my life, but I just know that I look like something from it. The girl who did my hair, Alicia, um, yesterday for me before I got on the plane, she gave me this, and I know Zoe uses this. This is the Smooth Stick from the Smooth Company, and it's like a um, baby hair wand. I actually sometimes do this anyway with my eyebrow gels, if I've ever got like flyaways, because technically this is kind of the same thing. You could use this on your brows too. Um, yeah, this is a great little product to keep in your handbag if you do like doing slick hairstyles. Um, would it be possible for me to order some room service, please? Thank you. Um, could I please order a, ch a chicken Caesar salad um, with the dressing on the side? And could I also please get some fries, please, with that? Um, and just a Diet Coke or Coke Zero? 
Yes, that's everything. That's fine. All right then. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Literally got nowhere to prop you. Um, I am having an earring dilemma. I feel like, I feel like these earrings suit the vibe of this dress. Um, really nicely, but I just don't know if it's a bit too much. Okay, so here's the dress. This is the yellow dress that I was talking about. This is how it looks. I feel like the lighting would be a lot better if I could put you there, but I've got nowhere to stand you. Um, so yeah, this is the dress from House of TB. I had a couple of stitches popped in it here because I didn't want to be too tits McGee. Um, so this is the dress with the sleeves. I'm not going to put the black one on because I've already made a decision that this is the dress that I'm wearing. But I just don't know what to do about the earrings because I feel like the earrings... Because the hair is so nothing... You guys have given me a complex about this hair from the TikTok I saw, but because the hair is so nothing, I feel like the earrings are a bit like, oh, like that's why she's done that with her hair, because she was going to wear a statement earring. But also, the dress is very busy, but it's flowers and flowers. I'm a floral queen. So, I might also try on another earring that I've got um, and show you guys that one. But this is the dress. The shoes I've got, you're going to laugh. Uh, basically, where are they? These shoes are giving ballroom and Latin. Like, they look like I'm about to start going into the cha-cha slide on Strictly Come Dancing. They are a kitten heel. Like, me and kitten heels at the minute. Like, apparently we're in a relationship. Basically, um, this dress is... It's meant to be this way because I looked on the model on the website on House TV and this, this dress is meant to, like, cascade the floor. So I'll show you from afar. Oh, I don't think you can see. I don't have anywhere to put my camera. Basically, the dress is meant to sort of, like, levitate off the floor slightly, but I don't like that. I want it to hit the ground because otherwise I feel like it looks like it's too short for me. So I bought a really low pair of heels um, and I felt like white heels didn't look right. So we've ordered these very nude, very kitteny, very nothing heels, which is what I was after. Right, I just want to show you one, for, not that you guys are going to be able to tell me because I'm literally going now. Well, let's eat my salad. Um, so, oh, I think it could maybe be these actually. So this is like the subtle, I've got an earring in, but it's nothing major, versus that, like, which one? Little earring, big earring. Little earring, big earring. I think the flower does look nice. Because it matches. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, your makeup looks stunning. Right. She's really good. And the scar is in there. My mum will just need it towards the end. Like, your makeup looks really she's good. She's really good. Wow. Really good. That's amazing. Oh, and the big... Okay. That got decided. She said, I've got my dress done up. Well, lots just happened in that small 30 seconds there. Okay, Nush said she likes the flower earring, which I'm really happy about because I feel like it adds a little something something. I just needed someone to tell me. My food tray's in the way, but here's the finished look. I've got my flower earrings in now, the dress, bag. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll let you know in the following vlog how the wedding goes. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. It's going to be a really, really nice afternoon. If you made it to the end of this video, guys, I love you millions. I'm going to eat my salad now. And I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye.